make your next attack on dump phase is is that does it benefit the Pokemon that you're sitting on? Uh, I'm not certain on that one to be honest. I I don't play support mons myself, so if anybody in the chat, we do have a lot of support players in here. So hey, let us know. X attack on comfy. Um, what does it mean, and how is it going to turn out? Well, this is what I'm saying. Like sometimes we see people, like teams take certain Pokemon or certain ones. It just makes me wonder what what is the uh, what is the thought process behind that? It's very interesting. Yeah, when you have teams at this level, like there, there, there is definitely a reason for it. They are very good players for all these teams. Um, we are seeing a lot of love for Zenith in the chat. We do like to see that. Zenith have been very, very good for tonight. So, shout out to them. We do have Torchic in the uh, left side jungle here and Zorak in the right side jungle. It's exactly what we expect to see. Um, but it looks like the Comfy and the uh, the Ninetales have been a little bit dominant in this top lane to the point where the Zarjan and the, the Clefable have actually had to go backwards. Yeah, I mean, this, and this is something that's really important. You need to try and... Oh, nice there. Nice escape there for the Comfy. You need to try and put as much pressure, pressure on the Zation as you can in order to essentially stop them from snowballing. Big gank coming out here from the Zorak. Take it and the Clefable goes down. Yeah, that was a huge gank from Zorak. Um, Zasha managing to just stop it there, but with a the comfy on the Zorak, it is going to be able to do what it wants in this top lane at the moment. They do manage to grab all those mid birds, so it is going to give them a lot of XP. The Ninetales is not far from level 6, which gives it Blizzard, um, which is pretty strong, uh, really dominant. We see Zorak going for an invade. I mean, a Zorak and a comfy against the Combuscan makes sense. I just want to say for the people in the chat who are uh, having a debate, let's uh, just keep it friendly and, and concentrate on the game that we all love. Uh, Blaziken does go down there to the Zoroark and the comfy combo. Uh, Clefable, get out of there, you're still level 3, you don't want to be caught out there. No, and that is the level 6 on the uh, the, the Ninetales up top. Ninetales is getting a nice level up there. Um, we do see like a, a, the Zashin in the jungle over here grabbing as much as he can and Zorak just returning the favour. But it looks like Zorak's going to actually get a kill or two. Does manage to get the Combuscan there and the Ninetales comes in to help as well. So maybe a Pangan managed to get a little bit more from those invades. Yeah, I think the uh, Zorak has really been playing off from the first two and a half minutes of the game. Uh, Taking a lot of damage and will go that oh the comfy takes him out that's why he took the extra attack uh it's solo carry as ego did, did just say he's gonna solo carry i can see it now uh, yeah my yeah, like blaze can take it out as well yeah see what i love to see with the comfy players is when they are jumping off these mons and helping out with attack and, and that kind of stuff because you can get caught out doing that but it really does help uh add some damage there so that's probably why the extra attack was chosen um in this bottom lane, we do see the fight for these bees, and then the, the Mew's doing whatever it can, but oh, a huge beam nearly taking out the Trevon, and I thought the Pikachu was going to manage to get the Mew there. Yeah, they are doing a really good job of keeping the pressure on, and the game, I think a lot of the game is one on farm, so if you can start farm from your, the opposing team, then you're already doing something. Yeah, I wouldn't... 100%. I mean, again, Zashan up top is ripping this, but this time... Oh! <laughs> the A9 with the ult managing to secure the Leki and killing the Zashan. Will they manage to score? No, they won't because the Blaziken's there. I think they're probably going to look at defending that. Oh, let it in. Yeah, Eni's going to let that in, so it has less overcap. Um, I did not see who got the Reggie Rock down here, but it does look like it was the side of a Pagnan since they are really pushing this goal. Yeah, so far, I think this game for the, uh, the A9 has been the MVP for me. Doing such a fantastic job of keeping a leash on the Zacian. Um, that still was uh, very well done as well. It really is. I think this is it. When you get the levels on a Mon like A9, because of the CC that it has, it can be so dominant. And it, they've shown exactly why, um, which is what we love to see. And Pangnan are just, again, keeping up the pressure, keeping up the aggression. We do see the Zorak and the Comfy here. Are they going to get caught out? They do drop the Comfy ult and the Zorak ult, and they do manage to pick up the Zajan, but the Pikachu comes in with the ult themselves. Comfy, 1 HP in a dream, getting on the uh, A9. And Slowbro just taking out the Blaziken on the back of its ult. Yeah, there's nothing, there's no worse feeling than being ulted uh, by a slow row. He just stuck there helpless and he was able to pick up that kill. Very nicely done. Chasing the A9, I think Zation wants a bit of revenge, dropping his ult to do so. Very nice play there. And able to actually catch up a level. It was a two level lead for the A9 over the Zation, but he has brought that back. 
Yeah, that was a very interesting ult there. I don't know whether they needed to before they got it. I think probably they ulted because they wanted to kill it before it got its blizzard back. Um, you know, to sort of push it away. So that does make sense. And it has managed to, as you say, catch up those levels. Um, yeah, it's, actually a bit, it's actually a level in front now. I'm not sure how that's happened in the space of a minute. He's gone from two levels behind to a level in front. That's, uh, that's uh, very interesting. Levels are paid actors, bro. Uh, oh, <laughs> huge beam. There, uh, unfortunately, not able to pick up any kills. Uh, Zoroark is in there with the comfy on his back, but he might get caught out. Nice dash to get away. The <laughs> flavor with fly. Oh, <laughs> it's taking the uh, blaze in there very close. Panion are just such an aggressive team. They are showing how they, the, why they're in the final every time they play in these tournaments because they just put on a lot of damage. They are managing to get caught out there on the Zorak and the uh, the Comfy. The Blazer can just clean it up with that uh, A9 down as well. You've just got the Mew and the Slowbro, and I don't think they're going to be able to survive this team slot that's going on here. We might get a team out with just a Zorak spawning. They may be able to get a few points in here, but Zorak, really quick. <laughs> they're just Slowbro just walking away from them, just like a scratch on him. So uh, he's such a hard Pokemon to kill, even Zacian, like a Pokemon that's really good at just ripping through anything. Uh, struggled to really finish that kill off there. Trevenant looked like he is caught cool out there, he's just gonna try and buy some time and run the opposite direction while the rest of his team does start heading to the middle beat. Mew is there, though, I think able to pick up maybe one or two of them. Uh, Zacian, the yeah, going back to his goal. I think they want to start rotating to the top objective. And yeah, but it does seem like uh, you know he he ha, are in the same position they were last game, uh, where they just I think it's probably best to just let them get that leck in and, and farm or even counter score because they haven't scored any points yet. It's zero to one hundred and eighty six. You know what? I hadn't even noticed they hadn't scored yet. This is a pretty good opportunity. I think Trevor's got to drop some points in the bottom goal, uh, and they will probably need to catch this Regilecki. Unfortunately, guys, I didn't seem to be too fable. Who's the other one? Fable and that's his Asian. He's really going in hard for the uh, Zeraora. Zeraora, but Zeraora? Zerok. There we go. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I'm able to pick up the kill. Yeah, that was a really interesting one because Apanion went for the kill. I think they were expecting people to be jumping on that pad. I think if they pushed that Lecky, then it would have gone in. But we do see a lot of ults coming out. Pikachu dropping its ult there. I mean, it can get it back if it does manage to farm, but that's really, like, close to the mark uh, where you don't really want to be all in. So it looks like Impanion are just going to back off here, um, grab as much farm as they can in the meantime. Uh, Zorark level 13 um, going into this. Yeah, level 13 is like very scary right now. Zacian has actually done a really good job to keep up in levels. He's going in really hard and able to do big damage, even with the comfy healing him. Uh, does disengage. I think he gave up on the fight, probably the smart thing to do. This is where you want to try. Oh, sneaky little uh, steal there from Slowbro. Uh, this is the sort of time where you don't really want to start dying, um, especially as close to the rave, the first rave, uh, this rave class, or sorry, uh, you don't want to risk not being able to turn up in the beginning. Exactly that, and uh, as I said, the, the nine tails has just managed to get its level twelve there, which I'm pretty sure gives it bl uh, Blizzard Plus or Avalanche Plus, um, but it makes a huge difference when it comes to team fights. Uh, let's see what goes on here because it looks like he he ha are just caught in their own jungle here and aggression is on the mind of a pangan we see the zorak coming with a comfy picking up the, the uh zation but it's not managing to do anything slow bro getting a lot of damage on it and then all of a sudden it is pretty much full health wow <laughs> yeah this is a uh, this is gonna be very close the thing is he he ha ha need to uh need to make a big play here maybe a well-tied talk from the um Fable. A9 is in the top lane. I wonder if he's going to try and do a backdoor school. Yeah, and that's a risky move because Zashin. <laughs> Zashin's oh, level 14. <laughs> oh, that was very close. That could have been very costly. Oh, I was teasing, teasing there. Zashin teasing the A9, trying to get it there. Um, but you know, Lum disengages, comes back into the team fight. Huge beam from you there, putting some damage in. But look at the healing from Clefable. They're all grouping up. They're in that moonlight, and it's just getting back to that full health. We see a huge beam with the A9 managing to pick up the Clefable, the Clefable there. Yeah, this really puts he he ha on the back foot now. They've lost their uh, their healer, which they've really relied on up, uh, up until this point. Pikachu's going down. Looks like Trevin also going down. I think this is going to maybe be... Probably game over this stage. You're getting a nice hundred in the. Was it hundred? Oh, 94, sorry. In the. Oh, no, it was a hundred. I was right. Um, Blazekin is responding with a 84, but I don't really think it's going to make a difference at this point. 
No, I don't think it is going to do enough. Um, and it looks like Impanion have just got aggression on the mind. Um, let's just keep leaning them up. My skill from the Hundred um, it's this Zorak that you just cannot cannot stop. When the Zorak is in your face and you've got this Mew from beams from behind, um, what can you do? Yeah, this has been a really, uh, a really good couple of games. I mean, you can definitely tell why these two have made it this far into talking to the, uh, the winners' final. But unfortunately, I think uh, he he hard did run out of steam a little bit. I think, I think it's, that's got to be a very good GG to a Pagan. Yeah, hundred percent. Very well played, both teams there. He he ha ha. Um, also not giving up. Uh, going all out as much as you can, but Apagnan just showing um what they can do. That was aggression from start to finish. Um, awesome to see.